Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at germanpod101.com. Hallo? Hello. Hallo? Hello? It's usually used between friends, and usually you add hallo, wie geht's? It's hello, how are you? Guten Morgen? Good morning. Guten Morgen. Good morning. And obviously it's used in the morning. Very casual would be just morning, morgen, guten tag, good afternoon. Guten tag means good afternoon or good day. You don't usually say it to friends. Guten tag. <laughs> Na klar, of course. Na klar means of course. I actually use it a lot. It's very casual. Uh, kannst du mein Auto heute waschen? Na klar. Um, that would be really actually really good. But uh, it means can you wash my car today? Of course. Who wouldn't want that, right? Wie heißen Sie? What's your name? Wie heißen Sie means what's your name? Wie heißen Sie is a very formal way um, to say it. Between friends, it would be more wie heißt du? Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Alisa. What's your name? My name is Alisa. Ich bin? I am. Ich bin heute gut drauf. Uh, I am in a really good mood today. Ich bin im Urlaub. I am on vacation. Wie geht es Ihnen? How are you? Wie geht es Ihnen? And then, mir geht es gut. How are you? I am good. Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Nice to meet you. Hallo, wie geht's? Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you is a very common sentence. Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? It's the answer to uh, if you get asked, wie geht es Ihnen? So when you're talking to friends, you can actually say, mir geht es gut, danke. Und dir? Bitte. Please. Bitte also means you're welcome. Danke, dass du heute einkaufen warst. Ach, uh, bitte. Thank you uh, for going grocery shopping today. You're welcome. Bis später. See you later. Bis später. See you later. Uh, bis gleich means when um, you're actually meeting in maybe five to ten minutes. And bis später is used mostly, for example, in the morning and you're going to meet uh, during the evening. Hallo, sollen wir heute essen gehen? Ja, gerne. Ja, dann bis später. Uh, hello, should we go have um, something to eat today? Yes, sure. See you later. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Meinst du, wir können heute was trinken gehen? Ich glaube schon. Um, yeah, do you think we can go have drinks tonight? I think so. Ich glaube schon is kind of like an uncertain thing to say. Danke. Thank you. Danke. Thank you. Danke is a very casual between friends and uh, family. Wie geht es dir heute? Danke, sehr gut. How are you today? Thank you. I am fine. Gern geschehen. You're welcome. Ja, danke, dass du mir beim Umzug geholfen hast. Gern geschehen. Thank you for helping me move. You're welcome. Ja, yes. Ja means yes. And, of course, it's a very, very common word in German. You use it all the time when you're listening to someone. Ja. Gehst du heute, uh, kannst du heute bitte mit dem Hund spazieren gehen? Ja. Can you take the dog for a walk today? Yes. Nein. No. Nein. No. Hast du am Samstag Zeit? Uh, nein, leider nicht. Um, are you free on Saturday? 
no, sorry, I'm not. Just saying nein is a little bit rude, so people just add, no, I'm not free. Okay, okay. It's more used with uh, friends and family and not at work place. When I was a child, I wasn't allowed to say, okay, for example, I, yeah, I have to say yes or no. Yeah, nein. And of course, okay is also used, uh, for example, wie geht es dir? Or mir geht's okay. And how are you? I'm okay. Kannst du mir vielleicht eine Kamera heute ausleihen? Okay. Could you lend me your camera today? Okay. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung, excuse me. Entschuldigung, Sie haben gerade Ihre Schlüssel verloren. Uh, excuse me, you just dropped your keys. So yeah, excuse me and uh, I'm sorry means both. Entschuldigung. It's a very formal way to ask somebody for a favor. Kein Problem. No problem. Kein Problem. No problem. It's a very common sentence. I use it all the time. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. <laughs> If somebody's gonna be late or, um, yeah, ich komme erst in 10 Minuten. KP <laughs> means no problem. Wie viel Uhr ist es? What time is it? <laughs> yes, obviously, when you want to know the time, uh, you ask this and it's used at work. It's neither formal or casual. You can use it with friends. You're in the city and you forgot your watch. Entschuldigen Sie, wie viel Uhr ist es? Excuse me, what time is it? It's a very common phrase and used everywhere. Einen Moment bitte. One moment, please. You bought something and you want to return it. Entschuldigen Sie, ich würde gerne äh, etwas zurückschicken. Einen Moment bitte. Excuse me, I would like to return something. One moment, please. Ich hätte gerne. I would like. Ich hätte gerne einen Salat mit Pommes. I would like a salad with fries. Wait. <laughs> I would like a water. <laughs> Wie viel macht das? How much is it? Ich hätte gerne ein Kleid für eine Hochzeit. Wie viel macht das? Uh, I would like a dress for a wedding. How much is it? Zahlen bitte. The check please. Zahlen bitte. The check please. Please, when you're ordering something and uh, you're finished and uh, you want um, to pay, you usually say to the waiter or waitress, Zahlen bitte. <laughs> Hilfe. Help. Hilfe. <laughs> help. Hilfe, like help, is when you're in need of something or you can't do it by yourself. You scream or you say, Hilfe! Ja, ich bräuchte uh, Hilfe heute Abend. I need help tonight. Kellner, waiter. Kellner, waiter. Kellner, die Rechnung bitte. Waiter, the bill please. Ah, uh, yeah, that's when you're asking for the bill. Um, That's the sad part about the waiter, he wants to be paid. Yeah, honestly, here in Germany, many people even have to work as a waiter while studying or before really making the big money. Uh, you need some money, so it's very common to go to restaurants, bars. I worked for a fast food chain, the one with the big golden M. Yeah, I worked there a little bit as a waiter. It's, some people love it, for me it was not the most fun, but at least I was happy when I could, um, yeah, when, when the people asked for the bill. Because I knew I was doing it for the money. Speisekarte. Menu. Next one is um, Speisekarte. Menu. Kann ich bitte die Speisekarte sehen? Can I see the menu? Yeah, so that's also very important if you go to a restaurant and it's not just this fast food chain where you already know what to order. Milkshake, fries and some cheeseburgers. Uh, no, if you go to a real restaurant, um, Then of course you want to see the menu, check out what, what they have, maybe they have a special offer for the day or 
especially when you're traveling when you come here to Germany where you can actually use those words then of course oh you might want to try some real German classic food uh, like Bratwurst, Currywurst, um, or Schnitzel um, yeah then ask for the for the menu for the Speisekarte and you'll find out what's the, the best choice right? Bestellung Order Next one Bestellung Order Rufe an um eine Bestellung aufzugeben. Call to place an order. Yeah, this is also very common, for example, all those pizza places where you just call, so it's like delivery restaurants basically, so you don't have to go there, look at the menu and um, eat in the restaurant. You can also easily order from home by phone and they deliver the food. It's like, yeah, if you want to have a nice evening in front of the TV, yeah. Pizza is the best example, like mostly when I eat pizza, it's ordered pizza. Yeah, what's better than having a big family picture, your girlfriend and a glass of beer watching a cool movie on a sunny evening? Wasser. Water. Wasser. Water. Bitte bringe mir mal ein Glas Wasser. Please bring me a glass of water. Uh, here you gotta be careful in, the restaurant, in a restaurant if you order water. You always got to pay here in Germany. I know in many other countries it's included, like you can get water for free everywhere, even sometimes coke or sprite now here in germany whatever drink you um, order you will have to pay it so if you just want to order water because you think it's free yeah they know it will appear on the bill so just order what you really want to drink hauptgericht main course hauptgericht main dish das hauptgericht heute abend ist gegrillter fisch tonight's main dish is grilled fish Oh, I do love fish. I do love grilled fish. Um, I don't know about you. We have a little fireplace here at my place. So what I did with friends sometimes, um, I have one friend who goes fishing. So he brought a few very fresh uh, fish. And then, yeah, we put them on sticks and we grilled them. So homemade grilled fish was our Hauptgericht, our main course. Nachtisch, dessert. Okay, the next one after the main menu follows the dessert. Nachtisch. Wir essen jeden Sonntag bei mir zu Hause Kuchen zum Nachtisch. We eat a cake at my house every Sunday night for dessert. I'm not a big fan of dessert usually. I don't like so much the sugars and all the sweet. I'm more fan of salty stuff. Um, but actually this phrase we eat cake at my house every Sunday night for dessert kind of reminds me indeed of what I like being with my family having coffee having cake in the afternoon and yeah for those opportunities I become somebody who really likes the sweet stuff not a big fan of ice cream or chocolate too much but a piece of cake with a cup of coffee yeah I wouldn't say no to that Küchenchef Chef next one Küchenchef Chef Der Küchenchef bereitet das Essen zu. The chef is preparing the dish. Um, yeah, Küchenchef is like a big word in Germany. It's um, it's correct, but also most people in, in generally you just say the cook, um, the Koch. Uh, yeah, Küchenchef is correct, even especially if it's in a big restaurant. They do really like quality food. And he has a big team of uh, cooks because it's just too much to do on his own. So probably he would feel like insulted just calling him a cook yeah kitchen chef could be literally translated also as the boss of the kitchen that makes sense in an environment where he has many co-workers but um, if it's just a chef just like a single person cooking then we would rather say koch which is uh, cook fast food fast food fast food fast food yeah also in germany we say fast food burger and pommes gelten als fast food Burgers and fries are considered fast food. Indeed, um, yeah, I mentioned this earlier. It's just like when you go to McDonald's or I don't know Burger King, or whatever, any fast food restaurant. You don't really check the menu. Um, only maybe sometimes if you're not sure what you want to take. But in general, you will know you have a burger, fries, and probably a Coke or a milkshake. Yeah, everybody loves fast food. Just don't eat too much of it. Otherwise, you will get problems with your heart, your blood pressure. I don't know your body, everything. But yeah, every once in a while, it's pretty delicious. Huh? Restaurant. Restaurant. Next one. Restaurant. Restaurant. Unser Lieblingsrestaurant ist heute Nacht voll. 
Our favorite restaurant is full tonight. Use this word a few times already in this lesson today. Restaurant in German, it's the same word with a different pronunciation. Restaurant, it's not a German word. I don't think it's a real English word, but commonly used in most Latin languages at least. You have a favorite restaurant? I do. Here in my town, it's an Australian one. It's awesome because they have all these Australian burgers with like kangaroo meat or emu meat, and um, they have cocktail happy hours twice a week. So sometimes they have like a little live music going on. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite restaurant. And whenever I have guests over and I want to show them something cool, take them to my favorite restaurant. That's the place where I go. Lecker. Delicious. Next one, lecker. Delicious. Schokoladenkuchen is ziemlich lecker. Chocolate cake is pretty delicious. Uh, oh yeah, I, I love this. Whenever I eat food and it's so delicious, I say, mmm, lecker. But yeah, for me, it wouldn't be chocolate cake in the first place which I would place here. It's more like, yeah, a piece of uh, raw meat now. <laughs> it looks like a raw meat. Uh, no, more like, I, I don't know, like, but yeah, meat, like a chicken wing or salty stuff, really, like a, a burger. I, I know I said don't eat too much fast food, but from time to time it's just really delicious, super lecker. So yeah, but if you prefer the sweets, then Schokoladenkuchen, chocolate cake is what you should go for. Crossing borders. This is an interesting one. I'm excited. Nationalität. Nationality. Meine Nationalität ist Deutsch. My nationality is uh, German. Reisepass. Passport. I guess nowadays um, people do say a lot like pass or just pass in German. But Reisepass. Reise actually means uh, travel. So it would translate as travel pass, I guess. Ich bin zwar halb Japanerin, aber mein Reisepass ist Deutsch. Um, even though I am half Japanese, my passport is uh, German. Visum, Visa. Wenn man ins Ausland geht, braucht man normalerweise ein Visum. Uh, when you go outside of your country, you usually need a Visa. Erklärungsformular, Declaration Form. Als ich, äh, bevor ich nach Amerika geflogen bin, musste ich auch ein Erklärungsformular ausfüllen beim amerikanischen Konsulat. Uh, yeah, before I went to the States, I had to fill out a declaration form at the American consulate in Germany. It was actually in Frankfurt. They asked me a lot of questions about why I want to go to the States and if I speak English and if I have friends there. There was one part of it. Quarantäne. Quarantine. Mein Hund musste zwei Wochen in Quarantäne. My dog had to go two weeks to quarantine. Um, usually when you go to another country and you bring your animal, you have to bring it to the quarantine and then it has to stay there for, it depends on the country, but usually like two weeks or longer. Hallo, ich heiße Laura. Sehr erfreut. Hi, I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic German expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to introduce ourselves in German. We'll start speaking right away, but first, it's important to clarify that in German there is a difference between the formal and the informal language. Let's first see how German people introduce themselves in an informal situation. Hallo, ich heiße Laura. Schön, dich kennenzulernen. Hi, I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. Hallo, ich heiße Laura. Schön, dich kennenzulernen. Start by saying, Hallo, ich heiße, then say your name. Hallo, ich heiße Laura. Finally say, Schön, dich kennenzulernen. Hallo, ich heiße Laura. Schön, dich kennenzulernen. And now, let's see the same sentence in formal speech. Guten Tag, ich heiße Laura Meyer. Schön, Sie kennenzulernen. Good day, I'm Laura Meyer. Nice to meet you. Guten Tag, ich heiße Laura Meyer. 
schön, sie kennenzulernen. So, what has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these expressions together. Hallo has been substituted with the formal greeting Guten Tag, German for good day. Ich heiße Laura has not been changed. Ich heiße simply means I am. However, during a formal self-introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Laura Maya. Here, you would say your full name. Finally, pay attention to the ending. We went from dich kennenzulernen to sie kennenzulernen. What is changing is the German word for you. In a formal sentence, we use the more polite word sie. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in German is Hallo, ich heiße Laura. Schön, dich kennenzulernen. The formal way to introduce yourself is Guten Tag, ich heiße Laura Meyer. Schön, Sie kennenzulernen. Now it's time for Laura's insights. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands. If you're not sure whether to use Schön, dich kennenzulernen or Schön, Sie kennenzulernen, Just say simply, sehr erfreut, as I said at the beginning of this lesson. If you use the correct sentence with German people, they are definitely going to be impressed. In the last lesson, we learned how to be grateful to people by saying Danke. In this lesson, we learned some of the most common greetings used in Germany. Fertig? Are you ready? Los! So let's start. The most used informal greeting is Hallo. Hallo. Hallo means hi or hello. We should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. The most used formal greetings will change depending on the time of day. Let's start with Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Literally, Guten Tag means good day. As a rule of thumb, we can use Guten Tag only during the daytime, from late morning until early evening. In the morning we say Guten Morgen, good morning. Guten Morgen. During the evening we say Guten Abend, guten Abend. Tag, Morgen and Abend is German for day, morning and evening, respectively. Easy, right? What should you say when you leave? German people usually say Auf Wiedersehen, when leaving in a formal situation. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen means goodbye. If we say goodbye to friends or our relatives, we use the informal word Tschüss. Tschüss. Now you can greet people in many different ways in German. Let's review them all again. First, the greetings. Informally, we simply say Hallo. Formally, use Guten Morgen in the morning, Guten Tag in the afternoon, and Guten Abend in the evening. When leaving in a formal situation, we say Auf Wiedersehen. And in an informal situation, it's Tschüss. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Laura's insights. Due to a huge variety of dialects in Germany, you might hear many different greeting phrases depending on the area. In Austria and in the Catholic southern part of Germany, They even say Grüß Gott, which means greetings to God. In the past, people from the north could barely talk to people from the south, since they spoke very different languages. But nowadays, if you use these common phrases, then everyone will understand you, I'm sure. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in German. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in German, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're saying, even if their answer is no. Here's the informal way to say it. Sprichst du Englisch? Sprichst du Englisch? In German, verbs change depending on the pronoun that is used. Please notice the word do in the middle of the sentence. Remember that this is the informal way to say you. The first word is sprichst, which means to speak. 
because it is referring to du, it is conjugated to du sprichst. If you ask a question in German, you change the du sprichst to the interrogative form sprichst du. And you probably recognize English to be English. Sprichst du English? To learn how to properly conjugate verbs like sprechen, please look at our Absolute Beginner series on germanpart101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. We are now going to make the sentence formal. First, we need to use the formal version of you, which is sie. If we change the word for you, we will conjugate the verb differently. It becomes sprechen instead of sprichst, like in the informal version. Everything else stays the same. Sprechen Sie Englisch? Sprechen Sie Englisch? Adding Entschuldigen Sie, excuse me, the sentence becomes even more polite. Entschuldigen Sie, sprechen Sie Englisch? Entschuldigen Sie, sprechen Sie Englisch? The responses you will receive could be one of these three. Ja, yes. Ja, ein bisschen, a little, ein bisschen. Nein, ich spreche nicht Englisch. No, I don't speak English. Nein, ich spreche nicht Englisch. Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say nicht after the verb sprechen. Notice also that the verb spreche is slightly different than sprechen. Remember, the verb changes depending on the pronoun used. We are now talking about ich, German for I. Thus, I do not speak is, ich spreche nicht. Now it's time for Laura's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. German people study other European languages at school, so maybe you will get lucky. Just substitute English with Italienisch for Italian, Russisch for Russian, Spanish for Spanish, Französisch for French. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in German, including Entschuldigung and Es tut mir leid. In this lesson, we are going to learn numbers in German. Yes, numbers, Zahlen, from 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only three minutes. Drei Minuten. Are you ready? Let's start. Eins. Eins. Zwei. Zwei. Drei. Drei. Vier. Vier. Fünf. Fünf. Sechs. Sechs. Sieben, sieben, acht, acht, neun, neun, zehn, zehn. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Eins, zwei, drei. Vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Great job! Do you know what comes before eins? Right, it's null. Null. You don't have any more excuses. You can now give your friends your cell phone number in German. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase meine Nummer ist, which means my number is. Meine Nummer ist. Meine Nummer ist 030-4122-5968. Can you read it by yourself? 030 4 Eins, zwei, zwei, fünf, neun, sechs, acht. Perfect. Now it's time for Laura's insights. 
When you go to the office or department store in Germany, you sometimes have to stand in a line with a number. When it's your turn to check out, they screen Nummer 1, Nummer 10, and so on. Learn your numbers well so you can be ready. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in German. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers, because they will come in handy today. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Germany. Before we go, you need to know how to say, how much is it? Wie viel kostet das? Wie viel kostet das? Are you ready to go shopping in Germany? Let's go! You see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say to the shop clerk is Entschuldigung. Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. Entschuldigung. Wie viel kostet das? Entschuldigung. Wie viel kostet das? If we want to be more specific when asking how much is this and refer to a certain type of object, we first need to drop the word das. Next, we need to know if the object is a masculine, feminine or neuter object. If it's masculine, add diese when referring to it, or diese for a feminine object and dieses for a neuter one. And then say the noun. For example, hat is a masculine noun. Der Hut. Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet dieser Hut? Excuse me, how much is this hat? Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet dieser Hut? And pants is a feminine noun. Die Hose. Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet diese Hose? Excuse me, how much is this pair of pants? Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet diese Hose? Finally, book is a neuter noun. Das Buch. So you would say, Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet dieses Buch? Excuse me, how much is this book? Entschuldigung, wie viel kostet dieses Buch? At this point, the shop clerk can answer by saying, das kostet, das macht, or das sind. And then the number, followed by Euro. For example, das kostet 39 Euro. Das macht 39 Euro. Or, das sind 39 Euro. What number is 39? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay, it's 39. It costs 39 euros. Now it's time for Laura's insights. A quicker way to ask how much is wie viel? Wie viel? Which literally means how much. When you ask for a beer at the counter of a bar, you can ask the cashier, ein Bier is wie viel bitte? How much is one beer, please? Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.